Let me talk to you. I'm pitching for a £100,000 investment on the 25th of January and then again on the 8th of February. And this will be my fault because I've been thinking about it over Christmas. I've, I, I've wound down a bit over the Christmas period, but right now I'm full force. And I've never done public speaking before. I've been on podcasts. I do these YouTube videos. I speak to people, random people all the time. And I'm confident, I'm charismatic, but I never actually stood on stage and spoke publicly and you know staring at people in the eyes and and conversing in that sense to you know 150 people and it's a great it's a new challenge but i use the word challenge very loosely because it's not a challenge it's it's a new experience and i'm really excited to just to take that opportunity with both hands but before i go I delve deeper into me pitching for this investment i just want to say a big big thank you I've reached 1,000 YouTube subscribers. I've been on YouTube for like four and a half years. I've done a variety of videos focused on Crohn's disease and they're all there. You know, you can see my journey from, you know, going from zero to hero, my powerlifting journey and my Crohn's transformation. One of the greatest transformations in human history, in my personal opinion. And, you know, I've been really focused on, you know, growing the audience on YouTube. YouTube's been a big focus for me, for me personally. And to reach the milestone of 1,000 subscribers, actually on Christmas Day is when I hit it. I want to say a big, big thank you for everyone who's following me on this journey, supporting me and, and taking great value from my content. And if you want me to do some sort of giveaway, you know, to commemorate 1,000 subscribers, I'm thinking about maybe a three-month supply of Cosmic Hue for the winner. Let's leave a, a comment below and if you want that to happen, I'll make that happen in the next video. If this video gets six likes or more and you leave me a comment, yeah, let's make it happen. But before I continue, let me have a swig of Cosmic Hue. So back to the pitch. You know, I really want to talk about when I was powerlifting because this plays a big part into me going into pitching to an audience. When I first entered my powerlifting competition, 11 months after my bowel perforation and I did the greatest transformation going, I entered powerlifting and I went in with one sole purpose and that was my validation to break the deadlift record. At the time it was 175 kilo in my weight class. So I was like, I'm, I want to deadlift 180 kilo that's what i'm going there for i'm i'm visualizing it but i couldn't visualize it me imagining it in the gym because i'm not going to be lifting that weight in the gym i'm going to be at this venue that i've never been before to in front of people i've never seen before so what i did was i was contemplating driving to the building which is two and a half hour drive from where i live so i can really you know watch myself parking up walking into the building, knowing where I'm navigating, where's the hall, where's the platform going to be, where are people going to be sat. Because then I can really picture myself, you know, on that platform, lifting that 180 kilo, smashing that deadlift record, taking home the gold and, you know, going home feeling extremely accomplished. But what I did instead, I went onto YouTube, found previous competitions and I could get I gauged very well what it, the venue looked like. So now I could really visualise myself on that platform and what I was doing before I went into the competition was picturing myself with that weight in my hand lifting 180 kilo with the surroundings of you know the actual venue really built it in into my mind it's called creative visualization you know but you first have to for physical reality to manifest it, it all starts in the mind and this is what I'm doing with pitching because I'm I know where the venues are in Manchester and Leeds, so I'm I'm actually looking online, looking at pictures, I'm, I'm visualising myself on stage, you know, full of confidence, charismatic, magnetic, you know, in a nice crisp, crisp suit, just nailing this pitch and actually just having, just networking and people approaching me and be like, wow, that was, you know, we're really interested and we want to talk to you more and, and just have these really invigorating conversations. This is what I visualise because I, I first have to picture it in my mind and then it will become a physical reality. And, but what I'm focused on now is actually what I'm going to say. I've never pitched for money before. I never, you know, like, please, please, can you give me £100,000 because I've got this fantastic idea and I'm really passionate and can you just just give me the money and but also 
<laughs> it, not, obviously, that's not what that's not going to be my picture. Imagine like getting like Oliver Twist. Please, sir, can I have some more? I'm going in with just absolute magnetic confidence, unshakable belief. But I need to articulate myself in the right way. So I'm researching on how to uh, how to actually pitch, how to be concise and not waffle because I can waffle you know I'm sure you guys who watch my YouTube videos probably think this guy could probably waffle at times I don't want to do that you know I've got five minutes to really sell Fifre and sell Cosmic Hue and, and sell myself because you know people that invest in me as a founder uh, I mean I've got a tremendous story to go with what I'm doing like I mean that speaks volumes of what I've already accomplished already but I'm not interested in what I've already accomplished I'm interested in what I'm currently accomplishing the present moment which is for fifth ray to shift the paradigm from coffee to cosmic hue and you know like if there's anyone who's watching this in fact who has experience in pitch decks in in actually pitching for money to investors then drop me a comment you know reach out to me dm me on my instagram master key money because i would really like to hear from you because I'm doing a lot of research, watching YouTube videos, watching people, how articulate they are, how they convey themselves. And, you know, after this video that I'm filming right now, I'm going to go off and, and just film myself practicing, in uh, pretending I'm speaking to an audience. Because what I started to do, right, is this pitch deck is a presentation of, you know, you, you, you talk about the problem, you talk about the solution, you talk about, like, the traction, who's behind the product, you know, the business model, you know, how's it going to make people money, how's it going to make me money, and, you know, how, what value is it going to add to people's lives, but to me, doing this presentation is boring, like, I'm a creative person, I love, usually love stuff like this, but just trying to gather this information doesn't fill me with the, the excitement that everything else on this journey has filled me with, so I'm... I do it. I was doing a lot of research yesterday, and I decided. Wait a second. I'm doing this the wrong way. I'm trying to create a presentation and do it slide by slide, and it's, you know, I'm kind of being a bit lazy with it because I'm like, this doesn't excite me to be honest. I just want to talk. I, I'm happy to get on stage. Give me a microphone. Let me talk to you. But what's happening is, I I had a, a, a quite an obvious epiphany, and, and that was actually why don't I tell the story in in that way, you know, articulate, you know, who am I, what's the problem, you know, how am I going to come and save everybody's lives, you know, how am I structuring the business, why don't I just practice myself talking and talking and talking, pitching, and then put that into a presentation and a pitch deck and do it the other way around, and then I was just like, duh, I like that because that works better for my style of just how I operate. Another thing is, at this event, the whole point is, I also want to take samples, you know, I want everyone to try Cosmic Hue, like, here you go, this is what I'm, this is what I'm asking for an investment for, for £100,000, why don't you try it? But then I emailed the, um, who did I email, mine went blank for a second, I emailed the uh, networking event at, at the people and said, I have you got facilities for hot water because I'm waiting for them to get back to me and they said um, the venue will allow outside drinks and I'm like well that's kind of put a little damper on things because the whole point is I want people to try Cosmic Hue and now no one can sample it which is fine but at the same time like I want people to have the full experience I'll experience it in the meantime so just before I round off this video, and I'm conscious that I'm, I'm running into the 10 minute mark, I like to keep it around 6 to 8 minutes, these videos, is, you know, the, the thing is, I want to really, really just practice, go into these events, networking with people, trying to, to get my idea across, my vision across, because I have a great vision for Fifth Ray. It's not... Obviously, I'm not thinking, oh, just sell a couple of teas and send it by Royal Mail. Like, to me, I have three phases of my vision, and that is focus primarily direct-to-consumer online and build that up to a certain level, then expand into Europe. A big dream of mine, personally, is I want to break America. I want 
Cosmic Hue just to take over. California specifically, like, I could really see Cosmic Hue fitting into Los Angeles and that whole lifestyle. And I really want it to be successful, and it will be successful in America and Los Angeles. Phase two is going to the retail, start smashing the retail giants. Let's go into Hall and Barracks, let's go into Tesco, let's go into Ocado, let's go into Boots. Absolutely nail it there. And then the, the third and final stage of my long term vision is a physical location to start having my own herbal shops. You know, I was going to say coffee shop, but obviously it's not a coffee shop. But the fifth ray cafe is what I envision, you know, around the country, around the world. The fifth ray cafe, you know, people are not are shifting away from going to get the coffee. Don't get me wrong, coffee's going to stay and it's not going anywhere. But it's offering that alternative to actually, you know what? Uh, I'm going to pop in to the fifth ray cafe. And it's all going to happen. I just got to remain consistent and continue with my unshakable belief and 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 meet new people to help me on this journey. I can't do this by myself. I can't build this by myself. I can have all the the confidence and the drive and the, the knowledge and everything that comes with it. Uh, but at the same time, I need a team. I need people to help me build. I can't build this by myself, um, which is why I'm documenting the journey as well, because I'm bringing you along the journey. You are part of the journey. You are with me side by side on this journey. It's exciting and I hope you're enjoying this journey as well. And please subscribe if you haven't already. You know, there's a lot of people who are watching my channel who, who I'm grateful for. But please also subscribe, you know, keep following me on this journey. We're on episode 19 of the 5th Ray Mission Log. I'm doing these every week and they launch every Monday at 11 o'clock GMT. So let's just keep, just keep following me on this journey and see where I go. Like I think from your point of view... I think if if you follow me from the beginning, and if you haven't, go back and watch episode one. That you can see the growth already, and I haven't even launched yet. You know, I'm planning to launch on the first of March. But once we launch, then the story will just skyrocket, and then you know there'll be so much I'll be talking about. I'll be like, you know, I've just sold with fifth raise now, just sold five hundred units in a month. You know, we've got we just gained you know. 200 subscribers in a month and you know now we moved into a warehouse and you know and you know I've got so many things I know what's happening going next but I just have to stay and remain present and focused on where I'm at now but knowing where I'm going the direction I'm going and I do know what direction I'm going in and I'm going to the cosmos on beyond because Cosmic Hue is taking over 2024 so you know like the video subscribe and I've as always, I'll catch you in episode 20 next week. Peace.